boys doing? He might not drop the blood all over the inside of the house. He might not drop the blood all over the inside of the house. Scare him to death? Huh? He kills one turkey, and he's a hero. Hey, what? Hey, don't, 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 hey, don't hate the player, hate the game. Did you knife him? Did you pick it up? Did you pick it up? Yeah, he's big enough. He's big enough. He's a nine year old. <laughs> I, was like, I almost had me on that one. <laughs> well, oh, it's early. It is 4.30. And it's our second morning here in Iowa. We have got a major system coming in. When I say system, it is yellow and with a little bit of red in it. It's supposed to hit about, what, um, I think uh, 8.30 or so. So we are, we're gonna go back to where we actually got on some turkeys yesterday midday. But yesterday afternoon, there was a turkey strutting in front of one of our cameras right at dark. So we know he has to be there close, but we have a tight window this morning before all this um, before all this rain hits. So um, unless we want to hunt in the pouring down rain this morning, we better get it done quick, Curtis. All right, just so we're on the same page, if two come in there, it's one, two, three, boom. Shoot on four. Yeah, one, two, three, boom. Yep. I'll try to remember that. Yeah, you can try it. It's not one boom. It's one, two, three, boom. Colonel Tom Nelson says, I remember the first turkey that ever came to me on the ground. It's a mystery to me that with my heavy breathing and my heart beating that he did not hear me. And I had the same feeling when the last turkey came to me on the ground. The day that I do not feel that feeling will be the day that I will quit. Get those big trees, maybe. Big gobble. What? Big you won't do. I don't care. I haven't seen any interact with strut like the strutter decoy. I mean they're not goblin. When they're not goblin I, I never know what to do. Well I'll tell you if I'm at home hunting like this I'm already back at the house. Yeah. It's just not even a question for me. There's there's breakfast being had. Let's go see if the turkeys are in that field. field. Me and Layden and Chip Chased them twice. I mean, uh, me and um, Dayton. Well, go see if we can kill them. They've been being back over here. The, that green strip? Yep. Like right out there. I don't 
see nothing there. Uh, yep, there you go. Keep going, keep going, keep okay. going, keep going. Yep. Do you see him? Yep. I don't know the best way to make a play on him right here and hook it up. Yep. Well, we uh, struck out the first two spots we went this morning, so we came back, started doing some, making some loops, and we found a strutter and a hen out here in the middle of the field. So uh, I think uh, Kenneth's gonna go by himself. I'm gonna hang tight here, make a quick play, and see what we can do. And then if not, we'll keep buzzing and try to find one before the rain gets here. Man, when they get that close and they running like that, you better have the bead exactly where it needs to be. <sighs> Cause if you see that, that's the empty chamber. If it wasn't for that third shot, we wouldn't have killed it. <sighs> we, come, we come down the road and seen them strutting out here. Made a big loop around them, come up. And I just happened to see his tail fan come up. I crawled up, yelped a couple of times and picked the fan up, and he was coming to whoop that decoy's tail. Holy smokes. <laughs> Dayton, that's our first one together, buddy. <sighs> oh, man. Thank goodness. <laughs> like I said, thank goodness for three shots. <laughs> oh, one of them big old Iowa paintbrush beards. Look at that. Man, how pretty is that? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that uh that wasn't uh, the prettiest um shooting that I've ever done, but uh I, I he was just moving so fast. I don't know, I don't know what I did. All I know is is we just filled our eye with tag. On a nasty day where there's a big storm moving in here in a little bit. And, you know, we were sitting there this morning and uh, Curtis stayed in the truck because there was only one. And uh, so he stayed in the truck up there and we made a loop around here. But I was sitting there talking to him this morning at daylight. We was listening to some turkeys gobbling. And uh, the Mossy Oak just recently did this documentary called The Colonel and the Fox. And I've always been a, a huge fan of both of them, but Tom Kelly, Colonel Tom Kelly, and this, this isn't the exact words that he, that he quoted, but pretty close. I, it, I was talking to Curtis this morning, and I told him, I said, you know, Colonel Tom Kelly said, I remember the first turkey that ever came to me on the ground. And with my heavy breathing and my heartbeat, it was a wonder that he didn't hear me. And I had that same feeling last year on the turkey that came to me on the ground. And when I quit having that feeling, I'm going to quit. Well, y'all, you see my hand right there? I don't know how many of these I've shot, but to this day, I still get nervous. Just like I shot a Boone and Crockett buck. I have so much respect for these turkeys and love to hunt them so much. Oh man, look at that. Woo! Mark and Layden are on the other side of the farm chasing some this morning. I hope y'all are, uh, I hope y'all are on them. Man, what a hunt. Never ever apologize for your God given right to hunt. Thank you, Lord, thank you. Mama, I'm coming home. <laughs>
Hey guys, for more great content from TGR like you just saw, Kenna Lee, what do they have to do? Hit that like and subscribe button and go turn on those notifications so that you know when our next piece comes.